This video will try to teach you the rules for Chao Ji Pai or Ji Pai, the famous Chinese card game. Hey, go check out this video before you watch this video. You need to learn the Chinese numbers. In Z Pai, to win you need 10 points in your hand or on the board. Let's look at scoring. First, Doi or sets. There are many different types of sets you can use. You can use the mixed which is worth zero points, or the proper set with small cards worth one point, or a proper set with big cards worth three points. Even better than three of a kind would be a big set, a Kai. This is where you have four of a kind, with the small cards being worth six points and the big cards nine points. Now for Ch or Eat in Chinese. These are runs. These are consecutive numbers in a row. Most runs are just used to use up your cards. Some runs are worth points, however. There is the 2 7 10, which is what the game is also called. The small one is worth 3 points, the big one is worth 6 points. As well, there's a 1 2 3 run worth 3 points for small and 6 points for large. This may be a local rule in Guangxi region. When you draw from the pile, this gives you an opportunity for a hidden set. If you draw a card from the deck that makes a set, immediately take it and the, the cards from your hand and put them upside down on the table. This also works for Kai's, or the big sets. This gives you a bonus points value. Once you have 10 or more points in your hand or on the table, you can win the game. All you need is a handful of sets and runs plus a pair. Unless you've had two Kai's that game and then you don't need the pair. Apo drew 21 cards. She'll go first and throw out her first card. It's the big six. I need it. So I'm going to pong it, make a pair and bring it to my side and then throw out a card I don't need. Mama doesn't need the card, so she's going to pick up from the deck. Whatever you pick up from the deck, you have to show the others. She picks up the last big six, and she must turn it over to me since I have uh, a, a set already. It's a special rule. It's more points for me. No, it's nine. It's going to be treated like I just had a gong, so now I'm going to have to throw out a card. So if she doesn't I threw out a little six, but Apo needs it, so she's gonna pong me. She has to give. The, give to Apple's you. gonna to. throw out a little five. I can use that, so I'm gonna pong it, take it to my side. Mm. Now I'm gonna throw out the big four. Mama needs the big four. She's gonna pong me. I'm going to try and take the little nine, but I don't understand that it only works if you pick it up from the deck. When she pick up, you can do this, but when you throw away one, you cannot. Mm. Apple picks up the big nine, and she can use that. Mm. Apple makes a run of eight, big eight, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Apple throws out a big four, which is a good play since Mama already has the other three. I pick up from the deck. I make a mixed set of eights worth no points. Then I throw out a little line. Mama eats, Mama ch, and she makes her own set of nines, mixed set of nines. Apo picks up the little six, which she already has, so she gets a kai or a gong or a do. Oh, she, she put it on the do. Do, do, okay. Put it on. Mm 
Apple throws out a big three, Dasan. I don't need it, for, so I draw from the deck. <laughs> Mama throws out a little two. You can see that Apple was thinking about making a, a set, but she doesn't. Not sure why. Could I play this one? You need to. Eh? No. Are you that? Me up, I'm not a dog, I'm not a dog, I'm not a dog, I'm not a dog, I'm not a dog. Throw out the little nine. Mama is going to eat it and make a run of eight, nine, ten. Little eight, nine, ten. But she just did the set. Oh, but it's, but she it's, it's next. Why are you fool, ma? Don't play. Ma, na go ba zi. Ma, na go ba zi. Apple big, picks up the big two. Mama's gonna pong her. This makes a set. Mama then throws out the little one accidentally on the ground. But Apple, she's gonna make a set from it. Apple's gonna throw out a little four and Mama's gonna eat it. She has a, a Kai or a Do in her hand for a big set. Mama's close, she throws out a big ten. Apple draws and throws out a big eight. I draw and draw a little ten. I already have two of those, so I can actually score them, but not face up, face down. Here I'm going to do it again with the little sevens. So I have a hidden set of little sevens. <laughs> Things are looking good for me. I throw out the big nine. Oh, my mouth warm. Okay, because the pair is. All right, Mama has won, and now she begins the trash talking. She counts up her points to make sure she has ten points. Three big red twos, three points. Gong, six points. Three big red threes, three points, twelve points at least. Yeah, you pick up by yourself, then you get two. The winner has to shuffle for the next round. I hope this helps you understand how to play Ji Pai. It's a pretty fun game. Thank you to Apple and Mama for being my demo team and teaching me the game. And remember that the rules for this game may vary from region to region. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.